Alright, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use custom materials and meshes on your trees uh, and we'll be creating something like this so money does grow on trees as you can see here so we have dollar bills we have back the back of them and we have the front of them so I'm going to show you guys how to set up the material and also I'm going to show you how to import a custom mesh and use it as leaves or as a custom mesh inside speed tree alright so I'm gonna go and create a new file here blank and I'm just gonna start by going to add button and create a trunk and then I'm going to add some branches and I do wanna make sure that I'll have a lot of them and also I'm gonna add another layer of branches and I'll make sure that I have a lot of them Alright, so what I'm going to do is select the third layer of branches, uh, sorry, the second layer, and I'm going to go and add some leaves to them. So I'll probably add another branch as well. So I'm going to select the second branches, add some leaves here. So I'm going to go to leaf, and we can increase the amount, and we'll change the set settings later. But I want to add a texture to this. So I'm, I'm actually going to be using a $100 bill texture on this. So I'm going to go to my materials and add a material. So I'll find where my dollar bill is. Alright, so I have it here. And what I'm going to do is I'll add the front PNG as a texture. And I'm also going to add another material. Um, I'll just go hit cancel and I'll create a new material and this is going to be the back so I'll add the back PNG so we have the front sorry the front and we have the back so what I'm going to do is I'll just select this and take this front layer and with this hand drag it onto the leaves and you see that we have them but then we don't see the back of th those uh, leaves so in order to see the back of them and see the back of the dollar so you need to go to the front and there is a back material as well so I'm gonna go two sided turn on two sided and for the back material I'm gonna be using the back alright so you can see the back and the front is there so the next thing would be to select them and go ahead you can increase the number you can increase the jumble and sweep and rotation and all which we've taken a look in the previous tutorials if you haven't seen but I'm just going to give them some rotation and some randomness and of course I'm going to turn down the size to something like 0 0.3 not 0 0.3 maybe 0 0.5 and I'll give them some randomness alright so I need more of these so I'm going to select these Go and increase the number, maybe not that much, and I'll add, I'll select the third layer of branches, add some leaves there as well, increase the number to like five, and I'll also add this dollar material to that, and probably, you know, scale them down as well, so 0 0.6, 0 0.6, and some root some randomness of all so you can go ahead and you can increase as many branches as you want and give them like what leaves here so I'll add a leaf increase the number and just add more of these you know textures to them and of course you do want to set the size to like 0.6 and rotation and all that we've already taken a look at how to do that so this is a very simple way of setting up like a tree of money or whatever you want. So now I'm going to show you guys how to use a custom mesh and bring it inside of speed tree and use it as like fruits or anything that you wish to do. So here I am inside 3D Studio Max and for the sake of simplicity and not, you know, crashing my system because you do want to make sure that whatever object you have, you want to make it as low poly as possible because uh, of course one they're going to be very small and second it's going to be distributed a lot you know so 
SP3 might not be able to handle it like very high poly objects so it might crash so what I'm going to do for now I'm just going to use a teapot or whatever you want so you can just go ahead I'll draw a teapot here and you want the pivot point to be the pivot point of every fruit like this is says it's a fruit an apple the pivot point would be on the top right so you would take from there so I just want the pivot point of this object to be um, you know at the tip top of the object and I don't need this many detail because of course they are going to be small uh, you know pieces so I'm just gonna set it to like four or even three because you know uh, the less you know polygons it has the more fast it's gonna be and of course we're gonna export it as an OBJ so I'll export and I'll go ahead and select OBJ and set it to like teapot save and you can set it to quads or triangles p3 supports both of them but I prefer to export as quads and export alright so once we've uh, exported our object from uh, 3d studio max I'm just gonna go into a blank scene and I'll show you guys how to add custom meshes so again I'm just gonna add a trunk a branch and a few of them and I'll add some more branches so I'm just gonna select the branch branch and I'll add two and I'm just gonna select this and I'll add some leaves here so leave here and I'll add a new material here so add new double click OK and go to the settings you know I'll add two sided here and for the color I'm just gonna set it to like what blue something like that you know and for the opacity we don't want any maps and nor we do want any maps for all of those channels and what I'm going to do is go to the meshes and I'll create new mesh as well so add new okay and I'll click on this plus button which will take me to you know importing a mesh so I'm just gonna go to that folder that I exported my mesh here and I'm going to hit open and here I have my mesh so I'm just gonna go and apply this material to these leaves here and instead of these colors and leaves I just want to go into my cutouts and meshes and I'm gonna add my teapot here so now you will see that our teapot is actually replaced with that with those cards and I can just go ahead and increase the number and you'll see that we have the teapots instead of leaves so it's it's actually I mean it doesn't have to be like a teapot but as I said in the beginning of this video uh, I just wanted to show you guys simply so this can be any fruit I've actually done it and I sh as I've shown you guys in the introduction video but this is like how simple it is to add a custom mesh and use its inside speed tree so in this tutorial we learned about you know this how to use custom textures and how to you know bring custom meshes and use them as leaves inside speed tree so the possibilities are endless and yeah so this was the today's tutorial and if you want to support me you can go ahead and support me on my channel effects maniac subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to support me to create more awesome content for you guys you can just go ahead and select a plan in my patreon page and support me there so this was the today's tutorial we'll see you in the next one